All right. So, um, so let's go to our get button load. And this is going to be called whenever we click this button over here. So what are we going to do? Well, first we need to clear the data inside the tables if there's any. And the way we're going to do that is first we need to get the table. So I created this these two methods over here in my, in our uh, browse library panel. Get book table and, and it just returns the get book table returns the uh the table uh listing the books and get file table just returns the table that lists the files. We're going to get that and we're going to get the model of those tables. Again, the model of the table is the data handler of the table. It, it's, it's the actual data of the table. That's the model. It takes care of the data of the table. And we're going to get the, the, the vector because everything, all the data is arranged in a, in a vector. As in vector as in uh, as in a double double array it's gonna get this this is a data vector right here and it's gonna clear it so it's gonna clear that for both the uh, for both the tables that we have and then we're gonna load that we're gonna load our library so I created this method load library in here and basically what we're going to do is have our chooser, our jfile chooser, set the filter to this filter2 that I created. This filter2 is just a file filter and <clears throat> it's basically just another file, uh, file name extension filter just like the, the one we created for video image music files. I just created another one, I called it library files and the extension is a .ser. And notice here that I that I deleted the uh, set file filter to uh, to this, and whenever we're uh, loading our library in our load screen, we're just going to set the file filter to filter two. And the effect of that is when we click this again, we're going to open our J op uh, J uh, chooser dialog whatever that's called. What is it again? Yeah, J file chooser. <clears throat> We're going to open that up. And as you can see in here, we we now have two things. We have our we have our file name extension filter for video image music files and library files. And basically whenever we added Whenever we added, we added two here. We added one. We added two filters. That's why we have two filters, one and two. And whenever we're calling the this set file filter, it just sets the default file filter when the when this dialog opens up to uh, whatever you uh, what file filter you set it to. So whenever you open this up and you set the file filter to this, the default is going to be library files. Um, now let's go to our desktop. That's where I put my library uh, ser test file. So this is my .ser file that I saved up. But let me press cancel out first. And I'm, I'm actually going to press exit. Ah, okay, there's a mistake that I made. This thing opened up even though I pressed cancel. So what I need to do if result code is that else Or, or rather, just uh, instead of having the screen, setting the screen visible here, we're going to set the uh, screen visible to load library inside this method right here. And we're only going to show the screen once we're done with this operation of loading up the, our data. So it's going to be here inside this result code ups, approve option. All right, now if we run the application, <clears throat> load, press cancel, it's not going to pop up. If 
you load it up, or rather, let's try to start a new library, you will see that list all books. There's nothing there, it's empty. Now, we're in our application again. I'm going to load up my uh, saved library. Now, this thing will open up, and this should close. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to dispose of that here. Because we're done with it. ls.dispose, and then this is going to show up. And then now if we list all the books, hey, look, it's not empty anymore. We have our saved stuff. But now we actually want to uh, display that, display what, whatever's in here in this table. And it's going to be a little, uh, it might get a little confusing, but just bear with me. It's, it's, really, it's really not that complicated. It's very simple, if you think about it. And that's, that's where we're going to load our tables, right here, even before we dispose this. Actually, in between this, that doesn't really matter. We're going to load our tables. Load the, uh, the book table, only the book table for now. And the way we're going to do that, is um, we need to know the format of our well we need a what we need is a uh, is a data vector because remember we cleared up the data vector here so we need the data vector we need the library the books inside the library in the format of a data vector so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna open up our um, library class and we're going to create a method there. What we're going to call the method is again I have it done already instead of, uh, I have it done already I actually in my previous GUI before I've done this like a long 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 time ago like I, I believe three months uh, two months ago or <laughs> Right, right, uh, right after, uh, right after Gert, sorry, right after our professor asked us to, I did it right away, and I basically I'm just gonna copy and paste that method because I don't feel like just doing it all over, all over again, kind of pointless. I'm just gonna explain what I did here. All right. Okay, first we need to know the format. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain this first. And actually just delete this first over here. We need to know the format of this of this string vector over here. Again, we're going to get the size of our collection. First we need to oh, uh, sorry. First we need to allocate the size of these of of the di the dimensions of this uh, string vector that we're creating. This is going to determine the amount of rows, how many rows we're going to have, and that's just going to be our collection size. How many books in our library. So if we have 10 books, it's going to be 10. Now, this, this one right here, the size of this one, is going to be, what is the size? How much, is how much information is contained within one book? how many fields are in one book. Now if we open up our book class, we're going to notice that, hey, we have one, two, three, and four. We have four fields. And as a matter of fact, if we open up our uh, our browse library panel, we set the book data to have one two, three, and four fields, four columns. That's why we set it to four columns, because we want a title, author, price, and a serial number. So now we need to retrieve the data in this format. And this is exactly what this function will do, this, this 